These are tough times for college athletic departments and difficult decisions are being made. Central Michigan dropped men's track and field today. Last week, Bowling Green dropped baseball and that left former East Grand Rapids standout Mike Malowitz looking for a new place to play. He put this message out on Twitter saying he was entering his name into the NCAA transfer portal. Well, Mike joins us now. Mike, how much of a shock was it when you heard Bowling Green was cutting your sport? Uh, it was a major shock. I, uh, the whole team didn't really know about it. We had a team meeting on Friday and we were told on Wednesday that we had had that meeting, but, uh, leading up to that meeting, we thought it was just a follow up of a team regular meeting where we just hit on topics. And, um, we got told the news about two minutes into the meeting by our athletic director. And, uh, that was it. And what did they say to you? I mean, was, could you tell it was a difficult decision for him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, because it was awkward because we thought it was just a team meeting, like I said, and we all joined it and our athletic director was in it. So we thought that was odd at first. And um, he, he was very emotional, but he just was like, I hate to do it to you, but he's an alumni of BGSU baseball even. And he said, I have to cut the program to save some money for the school. Is this just a case of you and the other athletes that are being impacted here uh, just being unfortunate? Uh, a victim of the times right now, or is there a level of unfairness here? Um, I'd say there's a little bit of both. I mean, it's unfair that we weren't given a heads up um, because I feel like if we were given a three days advance where the program was at risk, we could have asked alumni to provide some money for us. But at the same time, it's everything that's going on with everything shut down. It's hard to make money, but I feel like it's pretty unfair that the fact that we could have we could have came up with the money that we needed uh, if we were told in advance, I should say. Mike, are you just looking for another school to play at? How big are your baseball dreams? I'm I'm currently looking at any option. Um, I'm talking to schools that can provide the best for not just me, but my whole entire family and friends, and the best life that I can possibly have for the next three years of eligibility. Baseball has been bludgeoned by this pandemic. The season canceled. The NCAA is allowing players to stick around for another year if they lost that senior season. Uh, so there will be likely fewer spots available. Major League Baseball draft is expected to be just five rounds. How do you deal with all this uncertainty? Uh, it's pretty tough. Um, you obviously want to keep everything the same, but at the same time you have to realize the situation that's currently going on. And... Um, it's just unfortunate. I would just say it's super unfortunate that we're going through what we're going through and um, people have to do what they have to do to make a living these days. And I guess this is one of their decisions to the university to make us, to make them, I should say, succeed, I guess. Any prospects for you yet? Prospects? Yeah, for you at this point. Yeah, I'm talking to a few schools. Um, uh, I haven't really made a decision. I'm going to take these next couple. Uh, we, we just were told on Friday, so I'm going to take a couple of weeks to talk with my parents and my family and just see what's best for us. Mike, I know your summer league was, you said, was uh, cut, uh, canceled as well. How are you staying sharp right now? Uh, it's obviously tough. Uh, I mean, workouts at your home is not the same as going to the the SIBO Center, as we would call it, in uh, at Bowling Green, but. You know, going for runs, uh, whatever weight you have at your house, I should say, in home workouts. Uh, we used to be sent some couple workouts from our trainer at school, and now it's not happening. But, you know, just anything just to get your body moving, your heart rate up, your, your blood to move, and that's about it. How much do you miss baseball right now? How much do you miss competing? I, competing in anything is incredibly missed. Um, Sitting at home watching Netflix every day for what was it, almost three months, maybe since March, beginning of March, and uh, I would probably do anything to go to see my team, my teammates, my brothers, my coaches, anything to to play against someone else again. And your plan for this summer? Will you come home and just find some buddies and get out in a field and play? Yeah, I'll probably just work out, um, hit hit in the cage, throw some long toss. Uh, rather up a group from that I used to play with and whatnot and just tried my best to stay where I was when we left in March.
Mike, could you have imagined a scenario like this when this school season started for you guys? How crazy has this whole pandemic been? It's been the, the craziest thing I've probably ever experienced. I honestly, we were in the middle of a road trip uh, down south, and we had to stop about five hours in, and uh, they told us that this is when this all started. They told us that we had to stop. The season was canceled, and we turned around and drove five hours back. And then uh, we went home, and we got an email from the, the school that said uh, all classes are online. And then every, the whole team just dispersed back home. And then about until Friday, we thought everything was totally fine and then just got canceled. So I haven't really even seen my teammates in three months, but they just gave us the news on Friday. So last thing, what are you doing to stay sane? To stay sane. I'm doing everything possible currently. I'm <laughs> watching TV, playing some video games, a uh, little like Zoom calls with my teammates just to kind of feel like we're back at school and just with all of our brothers at school and just trying to feel normal sometimes instead of sitting at home with everything that's going on. What's the worst part of this? Is it not knowing you, you won't play for Bowling Green again or knowing that you won't be able to play with those guys again? Uh, once again, I'd say a little bit of both. I mean, Bowling Green's a rich, a rich history of – a great program and um, the fact that they're we were all blindsided by the fact that they got canceled is kind of crazy since considering the rich history that they have and then the bond that our our team honestly had we had a young core but it was a great bond that we had so the fact that I thinking about not seeing brothers for maybe ever again is pretty crazy to me and the bond that we had was just it might just be gone in a quick Zoom call.